This is a chart that uh, reflects the results of a study comparing the search rankings of three popular price comparison sites and those of, uh, of Google Shopping. Now, the, the three popular price comparison uh, uh, sites results are depicted in various shades of green, and the Google results are depicted in red. These particular data points were gathered in April of this year, and they represent the ranking results from 650 shopping-related keyword searches. While NextTab, Pricegrabber, and Shopper all show significant variation, ranking first for some and uh, near 50th for others, Google has a very consistent rate of success. Google Shopping ranked third in virtually every single instance. So, so to be clear, your, your testimony a moment ago that these Google Shopping rankings almost exclusively in the third spot are in fact the result of the same algorithm as the rankings for the other comparison sites? Um, there's a, a, um, a conflation of two different things going on in, in this study, which I've not seen, so I, I shouldn't comment beyond that. Um, there's a difference between sites that do product comparison and pr sites that offer products themselves. Google product search is about getting you to a product. And so we tend to look for the product as opposed to the product comparison in this particular case, which is why the product is more highly ranked than the result of a product comparison site. If you did the same study with all of the other product sites, you'd find a very different result. Okay, okay, so if we call this a, a product search, if we call the result a Google product result, that is not subject to the same algorithmic search input uh, that brings about the other organic uh, algorithmic search results. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I may have confused you, and I apologize. We do product search ranking. Things like the companies that are mentioned there are price comparison shopping. They're different animals, if you will. They do different. They're important. They do different things. P Google product search is about searching for specific products. In that sense, product search does something similar to what Price Grabber, Next Tab, and Shopper does, which is why the confusion exists. It's, it's, not a, it's, not an, it's an apples to oranges comparison. Why is it that they're always third? I mean, it, it seems to me that this is an uncanny uh, uh, well, again, I, statistical coincidence, if, if we can call it that. Third every single time. I mean, there, there are a few outliers where you're first, or you're third, or you're fourth. You're also, interestingly enough, occasionally 11th. You're never 12th. You're certainly never 50th or anything close to it. And yet, every one of those others will find themselves everywhere along the spectrum, everywhere. You're always third almost every time. How do you explain that? Well, again, I'd have to look at, at the specific results because we rank Well, so we've majority. got the results right here. Just look no, at I'd, I need to see. I'd actually need to see the, the technical details uh, to give you a, a, a direct answer. But in general, what's happening here is you're having product comparison sites and their results are being compared against Google answers, which are products. And the two cannot be properly compared. And that's why I think you're seeing such a strange result. OK, OK. It, it, it seems to me, for whatever it's worth, when I see this, when I see you magically coming up third every time, that seems to me that I, I don't know whether you call this a separate algorithm or whether you've reverse engineered one algorithm. But either way, you've, you've cooked it. So that you're always third. Let's let's move Senator, on. To the next Senator, slide. Senator, uh, w w may I may I simply say that I can assure you we've not cooked anything. Well, okay. Uh, you 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 have an uncanny ability and an uncanny natural attraction to the number three in that instance. 